um, I'm doing a little special video today. Um, was having a little chat with one of you girls, one of my YouTuber friends, and I just casually mentioned where I get my water, our drinking water, and they couldn't believe it. And so I'm going out to get some water today, and I thought that maybe you ladies would like to come along for the ride. So, yeah, come with us. All right, so we got to drive through. We just kind of left my neighborhood and now we gotta drive through I guess what you'd call downtown <laughs> if you can call it downtown in this small little town. Oh look a Dairy Queen. We actually have that. Anyway, gotta drive through the main part of town and into the country before we can get to the water but I thought I'd show you what we have to go through before we get there. Stay tuned. out in the middle of nowhere, even for the small town that I live in now. And right here, we have a natural spring that runs into this bucket from a long thing that goes up into this wood. Comes down now. This spring has been going. I mean, obviously for as long as I can remember. As long as my parents can remember. No idea how long it's going to last. But, this is where we get our water. When I told uh, one of you ladies, well I might as well just say, I told Kaylin, <laughs> she could not believe that we just pulled over on the side of the road and got our water oh. from a spring that just came out of a pipe. But this is where we get our water. It's very, very nice. It's cold coming out. It tastes great. And yeah, it's free. And people just, this is what they do. They come up just like we're doing right now, fill up the jug. And that's that. But I was thinking as um, we were driving out, it's this like journey to water that we do every so many weeks to get our water is kind of like trying to conceive. Today is a gorgeous day out and so the journey doesn't seem so bad to come out here. It's not something that we thought having to do because it's a nice day and we don't mind. But there are days when it's raining and when it's really miserable out and we really just don't feel like going on that journey. And it's kind of like that with trying to conceive. Some days you have good days and some days you have really bad days and you just don't feel like doing it. But regardless, the end result is good. If we keep at it and we keep trying to conceive, keep going, we'll eventually get what we desire, which is obviously to be parents. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess my little moral of the story. Anyways. And just like any other day. Oh. Just like any day, good day, bad day, the man is doing the work. Oh. Always got to get his two cents in. What? Anyways. <laughs> but you always got to get your two cents in. Anyways, so this is two, you know, killing two birds with one stone. One, a little bit of a... Whatever, how I feel about things. But also, for you, Kaylin, so that you can see, this is where I get my water. Anyways, I should help my husband so that way he won't be able to hold it against me that he's doing all the work. Anyways, hope all of you ladies are having a really good weekend, and I hope the weather's nice where you guys are as well. And I'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye.